Hey guys, Kennedy here, I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to use the Task Force Radio Mod for Armor 3 in conjunction with Project Awesome. Now the first thing we're going to go over is keybinds and how to change them. So obviously if you go to Configure, Controls, and then down here Configure Add-ons, and then you select Mod, in this case Task Force Airhead Radio, and here's how you change all the keybinds for Task Force Radio. And the ones that you really need to be concerned about are short range transmit, short range transmit additional, long range transmit, and long range transmit additional, as well as change speaking volume. Uh, the first, you know, type of speaking in Tesla's radio is if there's a guy, you know, standing two feet from you and you want to just talk to him like you would talk to him in real life. And for that, you use whatever your team speak push to talk key is. You should always be using push to talk in team speak. You shouldn't be using voice activated, you should be continuously transmitting, otherwise you'll end up with a hot mic and no one likes it when someone's hot micing over the radios. Uh, the other thing about direct chat is that keybind that was called change speaking volume, uh, when you use my control tab it just cycles through different three different volumes, it's whisper, normal, and yelling. So right now I'm on normal, if I do control tab once, that's yelling, do it again, go to whisper, and once again back to normal. And so then if you're fire team leader squad labor ever tells you to say go to whisper now you know how to do that uh, usually only really apply during player versus player team versus team matches uh, it doesn't have real any real effect in co-op since the AI don't really uh, recognize it or become alerted by it but yeah something else you need to know then after direct chat the next level of communication I guess is a radio in this case just a one a single rifleman radio so, you know, you're a member of a fire team, you're not a fire team leader, you're not a CO, you're not a squad leader, you're not in a vehicle of any sort, you're just a fire team member, you're just a plain old rifleman. Well, uh, you can access your radio by doing Control P, and then here, and this here, you can just change frequency, you just simply click in it, and then type as normal. So let's say you're an Alpha 1 fire team member, and Alpha 1's usually on 31.1, and then you just click Enter. And then whenever you use your short range transmit key, which I have done to just caps lock, you see down there I'm transmitting when I let go. I'm not transmitting on the radio. Now the next level of radio is short wave radio that is also dual bandable. And this is commonly found um, basically on any leadership level at any of any sort. Fire team leader, squad leader, platoon leader, CO, vehicle, members, all of those. They all have short range radios which are dual bandable. And they are also accessed by control P and just like the short range radio you can you know select a frequency you know say say your alpha fire team alpha one fire team leader you just do 31 and then click enter or you have to actually click the enter button and enter 31 but then these radios can also dual band so then if you press numpad 2 That'll take you to another channel and say your Alpha 1 fire team, so you have to listen to your fire team, which is 31.1. So you clear the frequency, type in 31.1, then click enter. And then somewhere on here, other than the numbers, there'll be a button that says set additional channel. You simply click that. And now you see it has channel 2 and then additional channel 2. So a big thing to note, you click at set additional channel on whatever channel you want to be your additional channel. And then you say, and then you go back to your other channel, your main channel, in this case, just channel one, in this case, numpad one. And so now you see channel one and additional channel two. So then if I exit out of the video, if I do my normal short range transmit, it's on channel one. If I do my short range additional transmit, it's on channel two. The other thing you can do with uh, dual banding is, well, yet you can do, with, yeah, anytime you can do with a dual banding is stereo. And what stereo does is normally, uh, Arma generates all sound in stereo, a left and a right channel. And Task Force uh, Radio does this as well, but you can set it so that, for example, this channel only comes in in my left here, see in the top here, and then if I go to my additional channel, in this case numpad 2, or channel 2, see how it says additional channel 2, and I had stereo, you know, say again, I can have my additional channel, my right ear, and my main channel in my left ear. And that, that can make it easier to figure out who's talking to you on what radio. You know, if you, if you hear someone coming in your left ear, you know it's your fire team, you hear someone coming in your right ear, you know it's your squad leader. 
And this aspect, everything I just mentioned, also applies to back, uh, all long-range radios. In this case, if it would be a squad leader, you'd have a backpack radio, which is this, and those are all accessed by doing Alt-P. And all of their controls are basically the same as the dual-bandable short-range radio. Uh, you set whatever channel you want here, go to your second channel, set in another channel, and then hit additional channel, and then go back to your first channel. And then you, when you do long range transmit, it does on one channel, long range transmit additional, it does it on another channel. If uh, you have any more things you want me to cover in a little quick short video like this, or you have any suggestions, improvements, comments on my video, I'll be posting uh, the Reddit thread, which I posted this in, and I'd prefer you respond to those. This is Kennedy, signing off. Have a good day.